So why is it that some people seem to manifest results in their love life easier than we do, right? Like we're the ones who've done the work, we've gone to the seminars, we've read the books, we've watched videos, right? And yet other people who don't seem like they've done hardly any of that kind of work at all are just manifesting love and results in their life and it seems real easy. I was on a coaching call recently and one of my clients had this question where she said, you know, how do I not look for love? And I said, well, tell me more. And she goes, well, I have these people in my life telling me you'll find it when you're not looking. And she goes, there's a part of me that gets so angry when they say that, like, I just want to slap them in the face. And I laughed and I said, I know what you mean. I've been there where you just, you want love so bad. You want love like you want to breathe air, right? Like you want this relationship. And so people tell you, you'll find it when you're not looking at, it's like they're telling you don't want the relationship that is like burning in your heart. And there's this part of us that feels impo like it's impossible. I cannot not look. And she said, exactly. She goes, when I go to the gym, I'm looking, maybe he's at the gym. When I'm at the coffee shop, there's this part of me that's kind of looking to see who's going to get in line behind me. And maybe that's my guy. She goes, you know, when I'm, when I'm going to parties or when I'm out and about, like I'll see a hot guy and I'm thinking maybe that's him. And if I don't, create the interaction, he could be gone and then I could lose out on the love of my life forever. She goes, that is just exhausting. And then I shared with her an idea that completely transformed my life. And the idea is this, it's a play on you'll find it when you're not looking. As I began to unpack that idea, I realized it's actually not true. You'll find it when you're not looking. If that was true, then the only people who would actually find love were the ones who weren't looking for love. But you and I both know people who were looking for love and then found it, right? That maybe there were moments in your life where you're looking for a relationship and then you found a relationship. That also doesn't coincide with anything that we know about achievement or manifestation. Say, no, if you have a goal, you've got to have a burning desire for that goal. So what's the difference? Here's a new invention, a reframe of that same idea. It's not that you will find it when you're not looking. You will find it when you're not lacking. Now, what does that mean? You'll find it when you're not lacking. You think about the state that we're in when we're looking. We're often in this lonely state. And if you're not careful, you start looking for so long, you get in this depressed kind of state, this state of like, oh, I'm lonely and I'm lacking. We get like desperation breath. Well, like attracts like. If you're coming from this lacking energy, then the universe begins to organize itself and bring you people and interactions and situations that are in harmony with lack that aren't gonna create the love that you want. What's the difference for someone who's not looking? What vibration do they get in? What state of being do they get in when they're not looking, right? All of a sudden they move from this, I don't have what I want to, you know what, I'm not even looking. And they start moving into this having vibration. I've got the life that I want. I want to be single right now. I want to just enjoy my life right now. I want to create my best self right now. And they're in this having vibration and then more opportunities for having come into their life. So that's the mental move that we've got to make. There was a woman named Jennifer who came through my Manifest Your Man coaching program. Her story is a perfect example of this. She had two kids and single mom. The story that she was telling herself was that guys don't want all that baggage, having those two little kids and a lot of guys want to have kids of their own. And so that began to get in her way that compounded the results. She wasn't meeting any guys that she was interested in. She was super smart, beautiful. And yet it was this constant mismatch. And so then she started to get into this lacking vibration and that just compounded it to the point where she was discouraged. She was depressed about her love life. Then she joined the Manifest Your Man program and she began to shift her mentality. She began to shift her energy from, I'll have it when I'm not looking to I'll have it when I'm not lacking. So how can she move to this having vibration? I'll give you three tips at the end of this video for how to shift into a having vibration. But Jennifer shifted this energy, met this guy. First guy in a long time that she was actually excited about. This guy wasn't everything that she wanted, but he was sexy, he was smart, he was funny, and they enjoyed dating. They even kissed and like there was electricity. She was like, oh my gosh, I haven't felt sparks in so long. She was like, this is great. And then a couple weeks later, he calls her up and he says to her, hey, Jennifer, you know, I know you value integrity. I'm a man of honesty and I just want you to know 
there was an ex that came back into my life. Um, she's super young. I never thought I'd have another chance with her. She wants to explore things with me. She's not someone I want to marry. Like you're the kind of girl that I could marry, but she, I just don't want to pass up the opportunity to just be with this other woman. And I want to let you know that. And Jennifer was telling me the story saying, in the past, that version of her, a past version of her would have been devastated by that news. The old story would have been like, see, here's another example of how I'm too old or I'm not pretty enough or I'm not, I don't have what it takes. But instead she felt this because she has been really working with her belief system that the right guy is gonna find her and she's gonna find him, that anything else must not be the right guy. It wasn't a nice idea that she had contemplated, it was a belief she had integrated. And so when that guy said, I think I want to explore things with this other woman, Jennifer was so calm, so chill, so confident. She was like, you know what? I'm disappointed because I liked you, but you got to do you. And so I'm, uh, I just wish you all the best. And he was like doubting then his decision because she was so grounded and confident in that moment. She told me, he, he was like, well, maybe I'm making the wrong decision. See that? response is why you're so awesome, Jennifer. Like you are the woman that I think I could marry. Maybe I'm making the wrong decision. And she was like, no, 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 You've already made your decision. Just by sharing that you've made your decision, go have fun. She hung up the phone. She felt so good about herself that that same night she gets online, reaches out to the hottest guy she sees online. His name's David, tall, dark, handsome, smart, spiritual, funny. They go on a date the next day. Like he totally vibes with her. They talk that night, go on a date the next day. That blossoms into a beautiful relationship. They fall in love. And today they are married, enjoying an amazing relationship together. Because Jennifer came from this state of abundance, a love abundant mindset, not from lacking. Like I don't have what I want. Coming from this place of I already have what I want and now I'm just manifesting it. So what are some ideas for how we can move from lacking into abundant energy? I'll share with you three really powerful ideas right now. Number one is start going on dates. Sometimes we wait to go on a date until the person's like a perfect 10, right? Until we think that they're gonna be our soulmate. Now you might be the person who's already dating a lot and that's fine, but there's so many of us out there that aren't even allowing ourselves to go on dates. And when you start to go on dates, regardless of whether they're gonna be long-term or not, you start amplifying that social momentum, that field of abundance starts to grow. Step number two is start living versus lacking. And what that means is so often we will wait to do something that we wanna really do until we have our partner in our life. We won't travel to a particular place or we won't uh, take a particular hike, we won't get these massages, we won't go to a particular restaurant because we're like, oh, I wanna do that with my special person. No, start living, get in that flow, open yourself up, that then creates this, I'm doing the things I would be doing with my beloved, that aligns you with the very vibration of being in that relationship. And the third idea here is start creating versus waiting. Start creating versus waiting. In other words, there's activities that you want to create with. You want to express life. It might be dancing. It might be painting. It might be acting. It might be creating video content, inspirational content. When you're creating, you're bringing about new life in your world and that generates this abundance vibration. There was a woman who came through Manifest Your Man. She was like, okay, I'm going to start living. I'm going to start creating. And she was like, it's been a long time since I've danced. I've kind of waited until I had my partner. I'm going to start dancing now. And so she took a dance class called the Five Rhythms Dance Class. She put that in her online profile. Her man that they hadn't met yet, he's out there looking for her. He loves Five Rhythms. When she posted that on her profile, he read that she loved the Five Rhythms. And he was like, you love the Five Rhythms? I love the five rhythms, like let's talk. They talked, they connected, they went dancing, they fell in love, they got together, all because she started living, started creating instead of waiting. What is a move that you could make that would put you in a more love abundant vibration that would move from lacking into a having vibration? Go ahead and chat your ideas in the comment section below and know this, I believe in you. I know that your amazing love life is seeking you now. And as you open up your life to those ideas, things start coming out of the blue and you will create the love abundance that you seek.
Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. And I'll see you soon.